I'm going to lead him back to the woman's house where I got, uh, <laughs> I, I got denied last night, the night prior. Right. Okay. And uh, say, there, I saw, I saw a priest walk in uh, just last night. Really? This looks, uh, well, uh, you know, this, I've seen straight, okay, yeah. Look, Jexel, you know, it's a small place here. He's not that well known on this side of the world. Trust me, he's in there. Okay. So I, before I knock on the door, I kind of straighten my armor and my... I start walking away so that he doesn't notice me. My Walk gorget away. Okay. and whatnot, just make sure I'm all tidy. I wipe off a bit of uh, something on the armor. And then I knock on the door with my gauntleted hand and say, ah, Excuse me, uh, House of Jaxel, I am Vincent Longborn. Uh, I am a prince. Uh, I would like to seek healings. Here, please. There's no response. Your door has yet to receive me. I expect better... Stewardship than this from the Jexelians. A new one. I can pay gold, or uh, I do have the means for alcohol, as you can tell. So, Neil, as this is going on, I've snuck away and gone into an alleyway so that no mm -hmm. one can see me from my back. Like, it's only stone. And okay. the only way that I can view out is forward. How far away is that? So, you want to find an alleyway that dead ends so that no one can be behind you? Yes. Okay. How much of an alleyway do you need? Do you need like a full alley or just like a little co uh, nook where you can Just hide? a little nook where I can cast a spell and not be seen that I'm casting a spell. Okay, you can find one within a uh, block and a half. All right, so I'm going to cast this spell. Okay. And then I'm going to tell it to walk there and point to where Vincent is at at the house. Okay, um, da, 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 da. is it that far away? Well, a block and a half is, you know, yeah, okay. Like well, then I'll, I'll, I'll walk in within reason. Actually, before I go out, I'm going to make myself as tall as possible. Okay. And then I'll walk within reason so that it can, uh, it can journey over to the door. Okay, and then what? Uh, just wait. Just wait till the thing approaches the door. Okay, it's there. Vincent's, 30... not, Vincent's not reacting to it? Vincent hasn't had a Look chance to title, talk because JP's dude. been talking the whole time. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> Look at the title of the spell. You're actually correct. This might not yeah. work. Vincent, go so ahead. Vince, <laughs> you're looking at it. So door. I noticed that no one's answering the door. I also noticed that... Uh, um, God damn it! What's the name? Uh, what's that wizard's name that I've been saying? Why did I blank on this? Jim Butcher's. God damn it! I, I'm fucking blanking on him too now. We won't proceed Drake, until Drake. Drake. Uh, fuck. I'll just go get a book. Hold on. Dresden. Harry Dresden. Dresden. There you go. Thank you. I was gonna I only go have every one of them. I know. That's good. what I was going to go get. So I noticed the wizard's gone. Or not a <clears> wizard, but Harry Dresden. And I notice uh, that they're not answering the door. And I kind of look around. Is anyone looking at me? Is the, has, have I made a scene or anything? I'm definitely looking at him, but I'm much bigger. There's a couple oh, you of walked up too? Well, I was in within range. You were backtracking range. a little bit. He's like walked off to go cast a spell. So oh, you look okay. around. That okay, guy's okay, not sorry. there. Yeah, we okay. just backtracked, but... There's no one really about. There's a couple of people that are, you know, walking through the streets, but no one is paying you much attention. I actually like slowly draw my sword and start squinting and looking around suspiciously, and I say, "There might be some plan afoot right now." <laughs> okay. So, uh, JP, as you start approaching Vincent, you see him with his back to the door, sword drawn like glaring around all right what what is in front of the house is there anything that could vincent. be pushed over like a, a, a vincent there's nothing except for vincent uh no it's pretty much house street could that thing touch vincent <laughs> <laughs> i 
I was trying to like make it do something else, but if there's nothing there, then I'm just gonna. Uh oh, we lost Jeff. He'll be back. Whoops, that's the wrong chat. All right, we'll wait till Jeff gets back then. Jeff, you're back. Okay. Yep. Turn the camera on. <laughs> Done. All right. JP, did you see what I messaged you? Yep. So I'm gonna have it push Vincent. Vincent, you f you're standing there, sword drawn. Push uh, away from the door. So like, if it was behind him, since his back and is to it. And then you see this very tall person. You know, he's like seven two or something. Like walk up near you, but not quite all the way to you. He's like thirty feet away, and like kind of looking at you. And then uh, you feel like someone, like, it feels like a small child pushing on, like, the middle of your back. Strong? No. Like a small child. Well, I, I turn to find this small child. There's no small child there. Then I do this with my open hand and, like, feel for something. You feel nothing. Okay, I turn back to the small man. What source of sorcery is this? It's a tall man. They're all short to me, Neil. <laughs> He's taller than you. I've He's like a foot taller than you. I've seen giants! <laughs> I'm 7'2". I walk up and say, I'm trying to test you, but you seem too drunk to be able to handle that. Well, you'd be surprised how fast I sober up. Is Why he sobered up? Why are you up? testing me? For what? Have I noticed him to be sobered up at all, Neil? You see, notice him as exactly as he's playing him. Okay. What was that line, Jeff? Can you repeat? Can we do a time more? What are you testing me for? Trying to see if you're the one named Vincent Longborn. You have perhaps the most inefficient sets, sets of tests. I cannot make my name known to anyone else, so I had to do it in secrecy. All right. I am the one you ask for. State your reason. I am at... I have not to be trifled with. I just had a friend murdered. I seek the one named Tuttagub. Is he here with you somewhere? He'll be with me forever, friend. <laughs> if you know what I mean. I have no idea what you mean. It means he's a fucking dead angel now. He's dead? He died. He's the friend I speak of. If he owes you something, his debt is mine. Um, did he have a proper burial? Look, I'm having a weird feeling about talking. Why am I standing at this house? If you'd like to speak with me, we can always speak, but... You said you're testing me, and now you're asking about my friend that was just killed. I don't know that I want to go much further with this until I know what and why you're asking. What you're asking. I seek to reclaim something of my father's. And what is that? I believe Tudagub had something of his on his person, and that's what I'm looking for. We burned everything that he owned, as is proper with his funeral. You're kidding me. And uh, at this point, he notices that Vincent's like not capable of smiling at this <laughs> So the boots are gone. The boots are gone. You fucking idiots. And then I sheath my sword and uh, just kind of like start walking back to the tavern. I just repeat again, you fucking idiots. And over Vincent's shoulder as he walks away, he goes like this. <laughs> what did he do? What did he do? He's making like a talking uh, hand gesture. <laughs> okay. I like how we have to convey stuff. To <laughs> oh, God. Be like, Vincent, where can I find you? Myself. I'm just muttering to myself when I walk back to the tavern. Okay. I'll be like, oh, God, I have to stalk someone else. I follow him back <laughs> to wherever he's going. Brigger, while this is going on, while Abigail's buying bows and getting turned down by armorers and Vincent's out being Vincent, what do you do? Um, yeah, Brigger didn't need any supplies or anything, so I was I was kind of just hanging out at the the tavern until Vincent got healed up. Okay, eventually Vincent walks back in and 
<clears throat> before he gets back before Abigail does. I'm gonna walk into the bar behind Vincent. Okay, Vincent, you've noticed this guy following you the whole way here. When I walk yep. in and say, "I'm," when I walk in, I'm just gonna say, "Vincent, I wish to speak with you privately." For you uh, would not have my words out on the street, so I'm doing it as you wish. Vincent's like, he he hasn't killed anyone in now going on like two <laughs> or three days, so he's like, sure. Lead the way, friend. Well, this asshole right here. Did you guys right go here, outside? Well, I say this asshole right here, and I look at the bartender. I assume it's the same one from the last night. Sure. Yeah. Say so like, this guy won't let me stay here. So either you can vouch for me. Bartender or looks at you with eyes like he's never seen you before. You're seven <laughs> foot two now, dude. But it, I still look the same, though. Anyways. Yeah, but, it, you know. Okay, gotcha, 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 gotcha. Um, that's good to know, then. That's good to know. Be like, uh, do you have a room here, Vincent? Never mind what I just said. Uh, yeah, we can go to my room. All right. Okay. Lead the way. I do that. All right, so we get in the room, I shut the door, and be like... Gregor, you see all this happening. Do you want to interject anything? Uh, Vincent, who are you taking up to the room with you? This wizard's asking about Tugabut's boots. You're free mm -hmm. to join us if you'd like. Mm, absolutely. All right. Are you the one they call Bregor? I am the one they call Bregor, yes. Ah, you were the one that defeated the dragon. Uh, yes. I see you've met one of my boys as well. <laughs> <laughs> Have you been drinking as much as this one? Uh, not quite so much, no. Good, I shall talk with you then, because he seems to be a waste right now. I think he, uh, I think he took the death of Tudagub a little bit harder than I did. I heard about that, and that's why I'm here. Let us go upstairs. Okay. We go upstairs. You guys are upstairs in Vincent's bedroom. I slowly start to take off. <laughs> you take right. off your robe? <laughs> and wizard hat? No, I'm not wearing a wizard hat. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so <laughs> I walk in and say, uh, Bregor, what happened to this Tudagub? He had something of my father's. Um, what did he have? I believe he had a special pair of boots that were once... Mm, pink boots. Is that what he colored <clears throat> them? Well, let me tell you, sir... Um, First of all, I, I don't even know your name. I don't know where you came from. I can't, and... I can't give my name away so easily. So you'll, you'll have to excuse me if I'm a little bit uh, skeptical, but we were... Our friend Abigail, who you haven't met yet, just brought a she friend the other elf? to the party. Yes. Just brought a friend to the party, and we were betrayed by that friend. So you'll excuse me if I'm not entirely forthcoming with all of the details of our party to somebody we barely know. I ask how, how did Tudagub die? I just straight up asked that even though what you just said. Mm, he, he was killed by giants. No, 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 no. What, what was the physical act of him dying? I need to know if he died how he should have. What was his killing blow, you mean? What was the last thing that... Yes, yes, that is what I'm asking. Uh, he was clubbed, I, I believe it was, by a giant. Hmm. Serves the bastard right. Mm. I hear this because I'm actually in the room. Uh, <clears throat> when do I and, get there? Uh, You're Never. almost there. I say, <laughs> look, friend, we've uh, answered your questions, but if you care to slander our look, friend... Look, Vincent, just you're a little drunk. Do you guys need help with these giants? I, I assume I could help some. I'd be willing to... Uh, Strike a bargain, perhaps. Mm, no. Eventually, but I think I, th I think we need to... Um, I don't know, you're asking us a lot of questions, and we have no reason to trust you at the moment. And you slandered our friend who just died because of a treacherous moment. I just kind of... I don't say anything and just kind of sit there and think and, s and wait for their responses. Which is weird, because he just got them. <laughs> I know, I know, but I'm just going to wait for the next, no. the next question or statement from you. 
I, I don't think without us knowing who you are, where you came from, or why you're contacting us. I told you why than, I was contacting you. Well, uh, the fact that you just want Tadagub's boots is not good enough reason for us to take you with us. What is good enough reason? And the boots are gone, as I said. And he claims that the, the boots, boots are were not his gone, you well. simple fool. Uh, Vincent starts to get noticeably more and more upset. He's like, look, I've realized you have a tongue on you, but you're asking to help us. And, and you're, you're refusing it. it. Well, we're not refusing it. We've told you we have no reason to trust you, and in sake, or in, in the place where a normal person would explain why, you just start calling us names. No. I've actually killed a man for less, and I'm not just saying that. So I need you to actually stop. Breger, your friend seems a little tempered at the moment. Can I talk to you in your room? Hmm. Well, Vincent is the one who brought you here and introduced you to me. I don't think there's any reason for, for us to split up at the moment. Hmm. What, what answers do you seek? We seek your name while you're here. <laughs> um, Who is your daddy and what, what does he do? Yeah, what was your relation to Tadagab? Yeah. Okay. My name is Bannon. I cannot speak my father's name for actions may occur that you do not wish to see. And Tadagab simply owns something that was not his, and that is what I'm trying to reclaim. So... You're claiming that the those boots were your father's. However, Tadagab claimed that those boots were his father's. Tadagab was probably lied to. His father killed mine. He got rid of him, let's say. Mm. Greg, I don't, I don't know why we care about these boots. We can tell him where the funeral is and he can <laughs> go grab the fucking boots, right? That would actually be perfect. That would solve all of this. <clears throat> Yeah. Well, we... When did I get there? <laughs> Still what? Oh, no, you're on a journey to find <laughs> dragon <laughs> for your... God damn it. It's very meticulous so work. It takes the adults quite some are time. having this conversation, but you're in those streets going, Does anyone sell or make armor for rabbit <laughs> ferrets? <laughs> anyone know of a ferret armorer? <laughs> Whatever, fine, I'm not there. You're like the Jar Jar Binks. So I say, his corpse, where is it? Made a funeral pier uh, over by the uh, lighthouse. I would ask that you respectfully do not desecrate his body, but if you need these boots, I see no reason why you cannot take them from his body, I suppose. Perfect. I say, thank you very much. I bid you adieu, and I walk out. Go downstairs, walk to the uh, gate, and ask. I, I assume, you Neil, know, you're not stopping me, so I assume I'm doing all this. Sure. Uh, ask the same town guard. Or Can I just see where the lighthouse is? No, it's pretty far away. So I ask the same guard that told me where the other guard was and say, uh, Sir, I, I heard that you had a lighthouse around here. Can you tell me where that's located? Down the road. About a day. Perfect. I head that way. So, okay. in the room, I say to Vincent, so, <clears throat> you just told this stranger where um, Tadagab's funeral was held. Um, but he was essentially calling Tadagab a liar. What, do you, yep. what is your read on this, uh, this wizard? I like how Bragger is the... The Sherlock Holmes of the party, right? Well, we've had uh, <laughs> some nasty run-ins with wizards. This one doesn't seem to be too much in the in the same ilk. Um, but he claims that the boots are his. We gave Tug about his respects. I'm not going to defend his boots with my life or something like that. If the guy was here to, I don't know, take vengeance on something Tug about did or whatever, sure, I would take on that debt because I think we owe him as much, but 
If someone's father was killed for boots and uh, he wants to go get him, I don't see any reason why to stop him. Hmm. I, I I see your point. I'm just a little bit wary because of uh, the the filth that Abigail brought into our party. Yeah. The what? Well, I, I definitely. Did you hear that? You're, you're, you're <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. But I'm saying it as me. I just I didn't hear what you said. The filth. The the filth, like your friend Yula. Oh, God. oh okay, 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 okay. <laughs> Okay. Anyways, this place is really creaky. They need to they need to reseal <laughs> this room. Um, I understand. That's why when he was it was strange that he so quickly offered to fight giants, but then the second he heard where the boots were, he was gone. So I he seems like a strange fellow. I don't I don't know. Um, it's we haven't had someone in all of our journeys asked to join us. We've actually asked people to help us, and they would always turn it down and walk away from danger. So this is this is something we need to keep our eyes on for sure. I agree. Hmm. Hey, Abigail, you show up at the bar. Um, you don't notice any of your friends in there. Hmm. I guess I'll go ask the barkeeper where they are. Upstairs. We're talking I'll go to some strange upstairs. fellow. Okay. Huh. You, you walk upstairs. upstairs and the doors open and Vincent and Brig are sitting on their bed. Chatting. Yes, what's going on? Uh, we could ask you the same question, Abigail. Where did you disappear off to? I was looking to make a, an armor for my for my ferret, Mister Togwoggles. Uh, can I ask you? So you're looking to spend money? I show as I say that I show you like the ferret and the ar the dragon skin, and I repeat Togwoggles. So you're looking to spend money to put armor on your ferret. The third one. Yeah. Yeah, Mr. Tugwoggles. <laughs> I renamed it <laughs> in honor of Tugwoggles. I suppose we all handle loss very differently. <laughs> so I will... I will do my best to be understanding of this, Abigail. Um, but to answer your question, we ran into a wizard who was asking us very pointed questions. Apparently he knew of uh, Togglebutt, and he claims that his father murdered his for these boots. It's uh, getting to be kind of strange with the interest of footwear in, this, in these lands. There's a lot of talk about pink boots. You'd think it was Okay, uh, and what France happened after? Uh, and what well, happened He's going to go get his boots off the funeral pier, and we're going to... You're going to let us. him dig up Tudagup and take the boots off his feet? Well, he's not being dug up. He's just a pile of ashes on top of a... Um, you know, you saw it yourself. It's just a mountain of kindling, basically. And you guys didn't burn him. We yeah, didn't we did. Burn him. I told you. Episode 2, uh, Anakin Skywalker's mother's funeral. Boom. Oh, you're right. Well, that didn't mean anything. No, no, I, I, I didn't. Burnt, watch I gave episode. you a visual. You didn't what? I I don't remember what that was. Are you kidding? You did watch it, right? Maybe like five or six <laughs> years ago. I gotta be honest. You I watched... didn't pick up on the reference either. Yeah, yeah I knew what it either. was, I but I shuddered uh, because I can't right, believe I watched false... that terrible movie. <laughs> the Sand People killed his mother. Oh, your episode. Found him. Episode five is what you meant, yes. Jeff. What? Oh. No, not episode five. If you're saying this. Oh, oh, okay, Anakin's no, 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 you're right, sorry. You said sound people, so I immediately went to... Bitch, you tried to correct me on my Starcraft? <laughs> or Starcraft? <laughs> Starcraft. Oh, and, good. Anyway. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, he got burnt into very little ashes. Um, and we buried, or we burned him with everything that he had on him, so... I didn't... Notice the boots not burn, I suppose, because we didn't sit there and watch for hours and hours. But no, no. If you if you actually burn the body, then the bur boots burned with it. Oh, good. So basically, everything I told the fucking wizard. <laughs> yeah, I thought you were lying to him, though. Yeah, I thought you were. Yeah, lying. me too. I thought you were lying. I was like, oh. And then Guys, I was like, what the fuck is even in a movie with this burning? Come on. Yeah, but you referenced a shitty movie that no one likes. <laughs> it is a shitty movie, but uh, everyone had to see it. It's like law. So, yeah. 
that body is burnt. Uh, but as to answer Abigail's question, I just said, I, you know, I, if, I, Bragor agrees with you. He was very uncomfortable with me redirecting the wizard there. So I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. I, if I made the wrong choice, I apologize. I just didn't see any problem with it. But if this is if this is how you guys feel, then I'll try in the in the future to represent us a lot better on that. Well, I guess if the buddy's all burnt up. <laughs> Did you say bunnies? I heard buddy. Buddy. Ah, body. Bod buddy. Yes. Body. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yes. Can you guys still see me? Yeah, turn your nope. webcam on. We can hear you. Uh, okay. Here's the deal, friends. We are out of friend, and he was an integral part of our group. He was... I mean, think back to all our battles. Without his clerical abilities, we would not be where we are right now. So we, uh... We do need to look for someone to join our group. I do think that that is... We're, we're uh... We're down an arm, if you guys agree with me. Um, but on the other hand, we also need to get back to work because that island needs to burn and everyone and every giant on that island needs to fucking die. And I know Bregor agrees with me because I saw the look on his eyes when we saw those giants. And I'll tell you what, I feel the same now. I agree that that island needs to die. But I think <clears throat> while he's not here, while Bannon isn't here, we need to devise a way to figure out how to trust him. Trust who? Bannon. Why do you want to trust him? What did you say? If you're talking about him joining us, right? No, no, no. I'm saying we need to find somebody. I don't <clears> trust <throat> that guy as far as I can throw him, and I could throw him pretty far, so I guess there's a little bit of trust there. More than an ant's fart, mind you. <laughs> At least a hundred times more than an ant's fart. But that being said, he talked about his father being murdered by Tugabut. He slandered his name in our, to our face. At the first opportunity to go off and get boots for himself. He abandoned the idea of helping us against giants. I mean, why would we ever trust him? Not to mention, we just had Eula betray us, and it cost us Tugabut. And so, we yeah, take a break. I'm... Okay. All right, we'll take a break. <sighs> I will just say, it's very ironic that I get a Tugabut Tutagub pulled on me after I smashed the Crystal Orb in the very opening of the show. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll see you guys. Not as bad. Not after even the... half as bad. We burned you in respects with all your stuff, which is things people No, I did. just said it was ironic. I wasn't upset. You just dropped an orb because <laughs> you wanted to test its sticks. It's like, uh, it's toughness. You're like, <laughs> apparently it breaks. You, you Uncle Bucked it, dude. It's ironic. You Uncle Bucked the shit out of it. <laughs> we'll be right back after this break, guys. <laughs> Don't go anywhere. More roleplay coming up. <laughs>